Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are here in our kennel at Mount St. Something training up Max, Stryker, and Domino who need their daily pets. There you go you guys. And we are getting ready for another race and this one would be from Monument to Aurora uh, or Monument to Aurora to Fireball Kennel. So I'm pretty excited about that one. It's a short race. There's plenty of restocks. It should be hopefully an easy $700 to make and we really want to start earning a lot of that money you guys because I know you guys are ready and I am ready to have another dog in the family how exciting would that be however another dog cost two thousand dollars and adds another three hundred dollars to our monthly expenses for our dog registrations and upkeep so we need to be very thoughtful about when we are going to get a new dog. And considering our current bills are already like at $1,400, <laughs> I need to be really careful. We don't have enough once that is taken away to be able to afford a new dog. So let's see what happens after this next race. Let's go ahead and train our dogs for today. Good job, everybody. Build those skills. Get ready for the big race. Everybody gets their daily pets. There you go. Oh, that's so exciting that pets are Max's favorite thing. And we'll go ahead and proceed again. We won't enter the race just yet because we'll get their skills all ramped up. All right, and we're good to go, you guys. So I'm really hoping that after this race, and then we'll have to see if this is another sponsorship deal. And then after the dues, we can hopefully, oh, that one's not very much money, but we can hopefully go through a quick series of races and be able to save up enough money to get a new dog. There's so many things that we can do in our kennel too, including expanding the kennel, which is so expensive. Look at that, $8,000. How are we ever going to afford that? Well, the fact of the matter is the higher the league you go, so once you start getting up to like league five, league six, and league seven, I mean, look how expensive that would be. <laughs> That would mean every month in League 7, we would have to pay $17,000. But I'm hoping that means that the higher leagues will have a lot of big money riding on them. So we're still sort of just in like the early hobby leagues and we're not really getting that famous just yet. We have level one fame for all our dogs at least, but hopefully taking on more of the races and climbing up the league ranks will start earning us more money and we can start expanding the kennel and we can start having more puppies and we can get more dogs and learn more things about about them. So let's start with today's race. All right. Everybody's in, in their normal place. We should be good. <gasps> the monument to Aurora. Oh, it's so cool. All right. We're going to go ahead and make sure everybody gets their, their treats on time. It really is hard because we're looking at snow to see it just the moment right there. Oh, sweet. Did we get like two perfect catches at once? And so they got a little bit more fame. That would be awesome. But it really is kind of hard because you're looking at like this puff of breath against the white snow to see exactly when it's time to toss them their treat. But I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. All right, come on guys. We've got this, come on striker, good job. Yes, that was beautiful, beautiful across the board. I wonder if I could reach out and like pet Max while he's racing, probably not. All right, come on Domino. I'm so glad that we figured out which positions they really enjoy being in the most. All right, go striker. And I like it, it really, really, really helps if you can get them in a level cascade of like who wants their treat next. That helps a lot. All right, Domino, look at everybody. We're gonna pass everybody up. Come on, Domino. Is that, oh, I, I gave it to him a little bit too early, darn. All right, come on, striker, give us a little boost. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're in first place right now. All right, come on. Yeah, there you go, good job, Max. All right, so that was not nearly as hard as I was worried about. Max, yay, world specialty level two. I have no idea how that's going to help him out, but hopefully it will. And then we only have, did we not even get any exhaustion from Max? Was I so on top of it that Max, oh my gosh. Okay, no, they have a little bit of exhaustion. It just didn't show. <laughs> I was gonna be stunned. I was like, there's no way we just raced that and didn't get any exhaustion. So we have Lee or the specialties. Look at this, Max has fame level three. How did that happen, Max? What did you do to like earn all of that fame, buddy? Jeez, that's pretty awesome. Fatigue capacity five, will specialty two. So things are going really good with those dogs. Good job, guys. You can afford to enter a qualifying race for league three. Um, Not right literally before the time money is due or else we would really regret that. All right, so everybody got a little bit more skill from going into those races, which is awesome. And just one day of resting up should have everyone feeling better. All right, good. 
Yeah, you know what? Maybe we will take on League 3 soon. But I think in League 3, you need to start having more dogs. So I think we should wait until we get another dog and then try qualifying for League 3. Because I'm pretty sure League 3 races... Uh, maybe they'll tell us if we go over there. Um... No, it doesn't say, yeah, minimum team size is four. So we need to wait until we can get another dog before we do that. Do I have enough? Not quite. We just need like 200 more dollars. Okay, so everybody is rested up. So we're gonna go ahead and work on training their skills up. So skill, I'm not quite sure how the colors match up with like the skill caps and the little white line. Um, and we could get funding, but I'm actually, yeah, I want to discard that because I'm actually happier with the better sled and having a really good food bag, a really good treat bag from our wonderful sponsors in order to afford going on our races. All right, come on, everybody. All right, let's see. And now the bills are due. <laughs> bills are due. Pay your league expenses, qualify for a higher league, or make any cuts you need to afford the next month. Ooh, sounds so dramatic. All right, so we need to go ahead and pay our dues. Thank goodness. And you guys, there's a race. There's a race. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to go on the race the next day. And let's go ahead and train up again. We won't enter just yet so that their skills can be totally at the peak ready. No, you don't need your happiness to go down, you guys. Everybody deserves to be happy. There you go. And we have a race today, you guys. Okay, it's going to be a clear night. So darn, Domino won't get the snow that he absolutely loves. We do have an obstruction, which we hopefully will be able to use by tossing a treat to someone so we can gain some more fame. And it's a short race. And it's just a little bit of money. But that'll be the little bit of money we need for a new dog. Yes, let's do this. Okay, all right, onward to the race. Let's do this, guys. And they are all ready to go. They're all rested up. Oh, and it's a beautiful night race. New dog, new dog. We can add to the family. Come on, everybody. Okay, Striker's tired first. So it'll be Striker Max Domino. Or Striker Domino Max might be better because it takes me longer. Well, actually. Oh, gosh darn. Oh my gosh. Apparently, we're just doing like a really famous night race. So that definitely got a lot of attention from everybody. All right, come on. We've got this, pups. There we go. Oh, dang it. That would have been amazing if he had caught that. Oh, Domino, no. Come on, buddy. I'm sorry. Man, having that obstacle in the way kind of distracted me. Come on. Come on, Striker. Come on. Everybody line up. There you go, Max. All right, come on, Domino. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. I gave it to him a little bit too early. That should be okay, though. We're still in third. This is a short race, though. And <gasps> second. And the short races can change really quickly. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> that was literally like neck and neck. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and there's a deer. Did you guys see that? That's so cool. All right. You guys. I wore our dogs out a little bit by accident and we got some fame. I don't know why, but I'm not gonna complain because it was really wonderful to see some more fame. And Stryker got her favorite thing. So as long as we're racing Stryker, she can get her favorite thing. All right, sorry, Domino. Oh my gosh, Domino. He's just like a fan favorite. I love it. He probably has people coming out to like take, picture, take pictures of him and Instagram him and everything. There you go, Domino. Yes, we are gonna hire a new dog. We're hiring a new dog. I'm so excited. Okay, so who should we hire? This is gonna be pretty exciting. Actually, first things first, let's come back and we're gonna look at Striker. All right, their skills are bouncing all over the place. I have no idea what those skills mean. Maybe they're about to go up to level two. So we need to look at Striker because I really think we need to have another dog to swap out with Striker or another dog to be Striker's companion when it comes to racing in the middle. We already have a great will dog and we already have a great lead dog. So we need to make sure the next dog we get is going to be a good dog for the middle because we're going to need a lot more middle dogs as we start making larger sled dog racing teams. So her specialty is middle and her, let's see, personality, where's her personality? Her fame is level two. Oh, we can change her harness color. Oh, and let's see, where is, yeah, that's her aptitude, specialty, happiness. Where is her personality? Uh-oh, it doesn't say her personality. And I know the personality like matches with what they're supposed to be good at. Oh boy. I don't think it's female. Okay, let's go look at the dogs. Gosh darn, of course I would forget which one goes with which. So there's steady, there's steady, strong, and then there's also 
obedient. And I'm pretty, oh, favorite thing is petting. Oh, that would be so useful. And he's a, he's another simoid. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think really hard. So the thing is, I think we want steady dogs to go in the middle and then strong go at the wheel and obedient go up front because you want your obedient dogs to kind of be in the lead so they can direct all the dogs behind them. So I think we want more steady dogs. Favorite thing is petting and a German shepherd named Delphi and it's a girl. Oh, I think I know who I'm going to get. I do have a soft spot for shepherds. I have a soft spot for um, the big St. Bernards in the races too though. But I really like seeing, oh, Sierra, a Malamute. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty and her personality is steady perfect catch is her favorite thing oh that's tempting that's really tempting I kind of I think I want to get Sierra actually I don't know Delphi or Sierra um Delphi. I feel like Sierra there's something about Sierra that's kind of calling to me so let's go ahead and we're gonna try getting Sierra yes because I feel like she and Stryker, Sierra and Stryker, doesn't that just sound like a great team? <gasps> okay, we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. And I'm gonna change her heart in this color. We're gonna change it so that Sierra can have a light purple, a light purple harness to go ahead and match Stryker a little bit. Yay! I mean, not like I'm not trying to do like boy color, girl colors on my dogs. I always think that's silly. I just think that Stryker really likes the purple hues, and Domino looks great in teal, and Max looks great in this dark blue. Um, and actually, Stryker, I think I may change her harness color. Let's go ahead and alter it a little bit. No, no, no. I wanted to do it. Yeah, this nice, this nice purple from my middle dogs. I like it. And then my super obedient dog has the green to know that goes up front. And my wheel dog has the blue. I like it. Those are all actually my favorite colors. <laughs> it's kind of obvious that I picked those, huh? All right. So we have a newbie on the team. So we might actually let her go ahead and race in an easy race. So we still have a little bit of fatigue with everybody else. Um, so let's go ahead and care for our dogs. We'll go ahead and let newbie race for, or rest for a little bit too. I have a new dog! This is so exciting! Raleigh started to tell me about when Aurora was named a true hero. A race was coursed to cross the frozen Koopner's Lake. He said there were northern lights again that night. Ooh, Raleigh's telling me new stories. Oh, and he has something new to tell me. Sierra's breed is a Malamute. Malamutes are huge, shaggy arctic dogs with a curly tail. Thank you, Raleigh. Sometimes he is a man of concise words. All right, let's back up. And so we have Sierra, brand new dog. Okay, so we've got a Melamute, so exciting. And anything else about her, her happiness is good right now. So I think we'll go ahead and take her out and we will race her next time to see how it feels to race with a new dog. And I think she belongs in the middle. If I messed up and got a dog who totally doesn't belong in the middle, I'll feel a little bit silly, but that'll be okay. Okay, Domino, I guess it doesn't hurt to have all of them rest. All right, but we'll just do it like that. There we go. All right, and now we've got a few days to focus on training with everybody. So let's snag. <gasps> you can only train three at a time? Oh no, <laughs> that wasn't my plan. Okay, I'm going to rotate Sierra in. I wanna get her trained up and I'll just have to rotate the other dogs in and out, I think. So that's why you want staff because you can only train a few dogs at a time. Okay, well, I'll rotate my other three. And that way, hopefully they won't go down on their skill too terribly. And then Sierra, we might have enough time with her that she can be at peak skill, ready to go before it is time for the next race. So let's go ahead. Yeah, she's almost there. All right, Sierra, you and Stryker, I hope you guys are like figuring things out. You're being good friends. Um, and actually I'll just leave this lineup team. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna take Stryker out because Stryker's gonna have to sit out since the next race is gonna be a three dog race. Uh, not yet. Let's get Sierra. Yeah, Sierra is right there. She is primed, ready to go. And we're going to race today then, you guys. And we're going to take a little Sierra on her very first race. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be a good one. I'm really hoping she is meant to be a middle dog and I didn't completely mess up on that. Um, and her exhaustion may be pretty moderate because this is her first race. She has no specialty. This will just be like, oh no, and a 50% chance of something bad happening. We got to get her her favorite thing. All right, and poor Domino hasn't been able to have his favorite thing for quite a while, so we'll try to line that up too. All right, looks like Sierra is tired first, so we really need to focus hard on keeping her. Okay, Domino, hang in there, buddy. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, we need, really need to focus hard on making sure, whoops, 
Sorry, I dropped a treat because I had to like yank them really quickly. All right, there you go, Sierra. Okay, and actually that was good that I missed on you, Max. And Domino, yes. <gasps> yes, Domino's skill just came into, into play. That's so exciting. The book popped up for like half a second to maybe tell me about that. And I'm noticing my dogs are like reaching behind me for something or like reaching behind them for something, but I'm not sure. Maybe they just sense that treats are on the way. Okay, a little bit of wind. Gotta be careful. Hang in there, Max. I'm giving you guys your treats too early. Dang it, Max, I gave you your treat too early. Okay, time for her treat though. There you go, Sierra. Domino, get it, Domino. Yes. <laughs> I was worried he was gonna miss that. Okay. There you go, buddy. All right, there you go, Sierra. She's doing really good for her first race, if you ask me. Wait, we're in third, fourth, what? Okay, I was so busy like paying attention to the dogs. I need to do the perfect treats again, especially if I want her to be able. Come on, Sierra, grab it, grab it, grab it, yes. Especially if, no! I want her to be able to enjoy. Go, 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 go. Getting higher on her exhaustion. If we're gonna build her endurance, we need to get her lots and lots of perfect treats. And that is her favorite thing too, which is really wonderful. So hopefully giving her lots of her favorite thing will prevent her fault from kicking in. Come on, you guys. Oh my gosh, there's a big tree, but it didn't knock us down. Thank goodness. <gasps> we just made it. I was so worried for a second. Oh, and look at the little Christmas tree cutouts in the background. I love it. Good job, Sierra. So let's see how she handled her very first race. We didn't get very much fame. It's like the, the people who come. Yes, look at that. We'll be able to get her exhaustion capacity up in no time. Wonderful. But it's like the people who come to League 2 are like, whatever, like just barely snapping any pictures. Darn. All right. So Sierra did pretty good, you guys. That was her first race as a middle racing dog. I'm hoping that means, and probably a lot of you are yelling at me in the comments about if that means that she's meant for that or not, but we'll see if she's meant to be in the middle. And then Max is doing pretty good. His happiness is down to great though. So we'll give him a good pet and maybe he'll be happier. All right, everybody. Good job. Another couple days to go. All right, you guys. So I'm really excited because that means, dun dun dun, we have a new dog. We have a new dog. We have a new dog. And now I'm not able to train all of my dogs at the same time anymore. So we might have to start look, looking into being able to hire staff, but that's not gonna happen until we hit league three. So I'm kind of thinking that we may go on another race or two. And then I think we might actually have to see about qualifying for League 3. If you ask me, we've done a fantastic job with our team, and I definitely think that all of them are ready for something bigger and better in the world. And I'm really proud of them too, so it'll be exciting to see if we can push into League 3 and start breaking grounds into even more famous and uh, very, uh, very rich races with quite the reward for winning. So, welcome Sierra to the family, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye